Scotty, beat me up. Back in the Geek Dad. Welcome back, Jason McGee. We've welcomed him here as our new co-host. Yay! So, yay! The celebrations of the gun. Yes. And of course, our buddy Poltergeist OD, Corey Clark. What's up, buddy? What is up? Good to be back here, guys. Absolutely. Great to have you, man. Yeah. So round three. <sighs> yes. Third time. Every, every yeah. time you've been well, on the show a couple times. Been on the show, yeah. This is his three peat. What was it? So, if this is the third time, what were the first two? The first time we had him on, we basically just talked his career and like a bunch of other trash movies that we didn't know what, and that's where we got introduced (laughs) to Dude Bro Party Massacre 3. And that brought on the second episode. (laughs) Yep. We Corey told us about Dude Bro Party Massacre 3 the first time he was with us, and then the second time. We discussed Dude Bro Party Massacre 3. And that was on tight, so that came back around quick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then now we have him back to talk about, I'm going to go down this list that I wrote. <laughs> we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about some Mortal Kombat video game graphics. <laughs> Godzilla mouth. And you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> An illiterate badass. <laughs> badass in quotes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boy. And of course, a movie which I need. I need it in my life. Biocop. <laughs> right. So the movie the movie with all that shit that I just named off though is called Manborg. <laughs> now I boys? gotta know. Corey, how did you find this movie? And why? Uh, there's like a cult <laughs> DVD shop in my town called The Lobby on White oh. Ave. And I literally, I go in, uh, Kevin, the owner, he like knows my style. I'm like, <laughs> I go in and I'm like, what's the dumbest thing you got on the shelf right, right now? And he just hands me a stack and I buy them no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> this was one of them. I got, yeah. I think I got this and Bird Demic on the same day. Oh my Bird God. Demic. God. I just watched <laughs> another, another masterpiece. Shit, was that Raven's Banner too? Um, uh, I have no idea. Well, now I have to look it up. But yeah, <laughs> Manborg. So, holy shit. I don't even know where to begin. Jason, Craig? <laughs> you want to I thought it was a masterpiece. I'm not going to lie. It, yeah, if you watch it for what it is, it's like a comedy gold masterpiece. It really is. Like, I was not steered in the wrong direction again. You know what I mean? Or James is on the loose <laughs> time. If you have like the worst sense of humor, you'll love this movie. Yeah. That's what I pride myself on my sense of humor because it's dumb. You know, yeah. like I laugh at stupid shit, but like I could not, like you said before we started recording, I probably wasn't high enough. <laughs> so, yeah, next I time just... smoke two joints. Yeah. Right. yeah I'll, the I'll probably go for the hat trick. <laughs> <laughs> aim high don't 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 throw yourself go, go big or go home like that. <laughs> but yeah i need yeah i need to get like super baked and rewatch it because man borg <sighs> yeah <laughs> yeah i mean yeah. look at me come on oh, man <laughs> looks at his hand borg <laughs> yeah. oh man Jeez. and then buddy right. the the uh, the badass quote unquote. He's like, <laughs> man, Borg, more like asshole, and then a text. Yeah. <laughs> like, fuck. That was dumb as hell. Mm-hmm. Australian <laughs> ripoff <laughs> Billy Idol, like yeah, no, he, <laughs> Billy Idol ripoff, blatantly, one hundred percent, one hundred percent supposed to be. 
And it was also like, I mean, the entire thing, like, I, what did we say earlier? A bunch of geeks who were like, you know what? We got a big green cloth. Yeah. Yep. And yep. I got a Nintendo Power Glove. You definitely have some <laughs> cardboard. We can make this shit happen. Yeah, like most of the shit in the movie is just like they either got it dumpster diving or from a dollar store. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Hardware. Okay, so uh, the the uh, badass guy, whatever. What was his name? Anybody remember? Fuck, I don't remember. Even remember. It's oh, man. Right now. I remember yeah. all of them except for him. Yeah. No, <laughs> actually, that's fair. But number one, because number one man is an easy thing to remember because that oh, is yeah. Yeah. brilliant. Rip number one Luke man Kang. was basically <laughs> Liu Kang. He was, yeah. no, do you all Rip remember Pit Kang. Fighter? Pit Fighter came out on the Genesis. There was a version for the, uh, the Super Nintendo and there was an arcade version. It was one of the first games where they tried to use emulated digitized graphics so the idea being that they would film these movements put them together create a game right. it was fucking horrible but i had it and everybody wanted to play it because you could throw knives at people mm. and it was like the whole thing right. about so yeah, yeah, absolutely. uh i swear there were so like you were talking about the 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 more combat graphics but there definitely definitely was a lot of that if i mean there's yeah. a street fighter reference every time mina decided to mm -hmm. throw a knife that pause and the zap thing yeah i, I, I remember thinking that earlier that yeah it was it looked like a, a sega genesis game for sure Dude, really did. but like some parts are actually <laughs> kind of impressive like they made the whole movie for like a thousand bucks exactly. in a garage yeah, and fight. like it's it's <laughs> damn impressive for that just like a bunch yeah, of yeah. nerds in a garage yeah. Well, so, geez, the thousand dollars, the the preview at the end cost way more than that did. Bio, <laughs> for, sure. for sure. I forgot yeah. to count last time I watched like how many times they play the title card and just go bio, bio. bio. So many times, <laughs> so, so very many times. The tagline, this cover, everything. I mean that. I don't know, man. Those those guys, they it, it, yeah, it was a terrible movie. It is a terrible movie. Part of it feels like pulling teeth, but most of it's just hilarious. <laughs> I mean, yeah. even the Ray Harryhausen special effects with all the really bad claymation figures, like they didn't yeah. make really <laughs> with those. You know what I mean? Like that, what was the the big the the Supreme Fighter in the pit? That dude, it was like that yeah. was their yeah. biggest model that they were that they were animating. And he still looked like a kid had stuck all the play doh together <laughs> and left it for like a year. Hey, man. <laughs> you remember the putties from Power Rangers, right? Oh, Same basic fuck concept. yeah. <laughs> Same basic concept. Though. That was the first movie I ever saw in theaters. Power Rangers? Power Rangers movie, yeah. Wow. I, could, I couldn't tell you because I know I was young. I was super young. Because my mom would take me to movies. Out of drive -in. I saw. Your first was out of drive in? It. Yeah, I saw Land Before Time, the first one. Land Before Time. Wow. Yeah. That's dope. It's on 9 to 5 out of drive in. 9 to 5. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've never been to a drive in. Oh, it's, man. It's not what people make it up to be. Yeah, but I'm still <laughs> like, really, check we it have a really cool one, one here. It was like bringing back. Like they do like horror weekends and stuff, and like Lloyd Crawford right. will come and people like that. Retrospective oh, yeah. would be good. Yeah, there's one. There's one in uh, Montgomery, Pennsylvania, too. Yeah, like right up the road from where I grew up. Yeah. We do one here in Alberta on a lake where uh, everybody gets like a raft, and we watch Jaws. Oh, yes, photos of that. I'm yes, do that. That's awesome. Oh. That's fucking. And sad. like obviously, there's dudes going around and grabbing people's legs under the water. Right. Like it's so it's so much fun. On it too, right? Uh, I haven't seen the piranha <laughs> like on the lake, but that would even be fucking better, yeah. I think. Right? <laughs> like, God, I would, I would like anaconda. Just... Yeah, so oh, yeah. there's got to be a way to make that like an all day affair. It's got to be just like all water movies. Yeah. Bring some screen and a diaper. <laughs> Seriously, though, we need to get like a Kickstarter going for that. That's what, like you <laughs> got there should be like themed ones. There should be like a swampy one. Swamp thing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just then watch all the swamp thing on the swamp. Yeah. Like you don't feel safe there, but it's still kind of mm -hmm. fun. Yeah. <laughs> that would be terrifying. <laughs> Actually, that would be really bad. <laughs> no, we, or we watching a cabin in the woods. Stuff. In a cabin in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> Dope. Mm -hmm. Make a whole like movie theme park. 
Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, just go to a different I mean, section audience, and get to watch. It would make money. It would have to. Yeah. I mean, my God, I'd go. You get I to watch know. you get to watch Friday the thirteenth at a place that looks like a summer camp. You know? Seriously, yeah. you, can up, you can set up one of the Crystal Lake cabins. Or even just yeah. like a whole slew of like uh outdoorsy movies, like camp movies. Well, like you can play Very sleepaway outdoorsy. camp in the same place as uh, <laughs> Friday the thirteenth movie. They got like mascots mm-hmm. running around. Hey, let me get a picture with Jason. Yeah, right. Yeah. I think Dude, we just that's... came up with a brilliant idea. We absolutely <laughs> did. We need to fucking get something going with that. A horror <laughs> theme park. Different right sections now, for different movies. sitting there going, damn it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Orland. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's we gotta really hit him up for the name. Yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, if I ever contact Arl Stein, I'll just stop everything I'm ever doing. <laughs> so it was like the Goosebumps books for me were pivotal. I'm not a reader, but those books I would read the shit out of them. I don't know if you can see it in the photo, but I got the G from Goosebumps tattered on my back oh, right that's here. Sick. That's awesome. Yes. Fantastic. I'm gonna get. I think I'm gonna get the X Files X right here, like right in the middle <laughs> oh, of the fuck. throat. Yeah. Oof. Straight lines like that. I can. Ooh. Ah. Thinking about it. Hurt. <laughs> yeah, and I got like a sharp Adam's apple too, so ooh. I know it's gonna hurt. <laughs> Not looking forward to it, but uh, may the odds be worth. ever in your favor. <laughs> it's always worth it when it's done. You done with the outline yet? Not literally. This is just the transfer. <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we just stuck it on. <laughs> yep, you're good. You're going to be here for a minute. Yeah. No, I heard you start the machine. I, yeah. I, I still haven't hooked it up yet. Calm down. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's, that's your, it's your bones rattling right now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ew, God, just thinking about that hurt. <laughs> Let's go back to Manborg quick. I gotta talk about I gotta talk about Dracula. <laughs> and his converted cause like spawn cosplay out yeah, at the end. What the fuck <laughs> happened to him at the end? Like he looked like a he looked like what you would expect a character named Dracula to look like at the beginning. Uh seriously. I actually like just watched an interview and they were saying that the whole premise of that was like uh Shredder from uh like, tmnt so, like so where, where you got like the super shredder super near shredder. the end like a final boss type character that's yeah. what they were going for <laughs> did kevin nash play him too i mean there were some serious video games <laughs> right oh was that like, yeah. you know, from the movie or even the like the, the like we already talked like there was some serious video game logic in the movie i mean yeah. there wasn't a lot of logic in the movie but what was there was taken <laughs> like literally from like stage street fighting crap yeah. And there's like no explanation for the timeline from like the beginning no, shot no, to like no, when they end up in the future. They're like, we don't know what year it is. It's just no. it's it's the future. Everything's <laughs> gone real bad. Everything's completely <laughs> ambiguous. Yeah. Zombie, so, robot, vampire, Nazis. The claymation <laughs> demons from hell. And, a, and a doctor yeah. and a doctor who somehow lived after that war and we, like I said, we don't know what year it is so it could be a couple hundred years how the here? hell is this guy still know. alive you know? the world is not right y'all watched all the way through <laughs> yeah i watched it all the way through so all the way through the credits did you realize how short the credit list actually was yeah <laughs> how many yeah. times the same same people just played a couple like people six, repeat six it over and over <laughs> yeah like the guy that did the musical and they're also played. members of the crew like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was literally just the same people over and over Holy again. shit. Yo, they borrowed all their uh, filming equipment from like the high school in their area. <laughs> they had like an AV club or something. They were like, oh man, can we like borrow it for a little while? <laughs> a kid with a bootleg copy of After Effects and Photoshop. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. And probably Lightroom. I mean, to be honest, some of the, like, I know it sounds weird like it's a weird thing to give it credit for but like the laser effects weren't horrible at parts yeah i mean (laughs) i was impressed with like just a couple of the shots um what i'm mostly impressed with is their patience because like like all of them basically said that it sucks doing a whole movie in front of a green screen like you got nothing to work off you don't know what's going on (laughs) like just to have the patience to do that and like not even get paid for it 
But no, it's, they spent all the money on the Hellraiser mask. Yeah. <laughs> the Hellraiser mask. Actually, I think a lot of their money uh, just went to like makeup effects because like, uh, oh, I had to do his name. Yeah. Steven Kostansky, uh, he worked on yeah. movies like Silent Hill, Crimson Peak, Star Trek Discovery, oh. Pacific Rim. Like he's got mm, some okay. crazy big credits on him. And for him to turn around and just make this as like a fun thing to do, like that's kind of cool. That that is, better yeah, that's some bad but since you said his name, what was his name again? Steve Kostansky? Uh, Steve, Steven Kostansky, yeah. Kostansky. I had okay. to write it down because I'm like, I'll never remember this. Right, right. But yeah, I was trying. I should have done that last night because <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I really need to write this guy's name down because I need to plead with him. Please <laughs> make Final <laughs> Cop the movie. Please, right? Make yeah, yeah. The movie. Like, well, you know, like if they put that on Kickstarter, like I'd fund it. Fuck yeah! Have, take it all. Just take it all. Take have all my money. Seen Psycho Gorman. Like yeah. A, yeah, yeah, Biocop makes an appearance in Psycho Gorman. Yeah, which yeah, is, okay. I mean, that's what that was. Is, once again, it's a Raven, that is a Raven Banner film, which is not the mm. production company that released this. Uh, mm -hmm. They also released a bunch of other really good ones, like some great movies. Yeah, I saw uh, that. I was like... stunned to see it as a production company on this. I mean, granted, it wasn't <laughs> yet the actual production company, it was whatever weird ass 80s throwback name they came up with what was this astron six astron six. Six. <laughs> hell yeah like if you guys have seen video disc if you guys have yeah <laughs> that's a <hilarious. laughs> if you guys haven't seen the editor that's another good movie by those guys the editor editor that just sounds when intriguing. did that come out give or take. i have no idea give or take maybe i'll i'm gonna guess 2015 all right but, I, I, I'm, I swear I've heard it there the name but then again I mean I read a lot of horror crap online so it's a possibility I'm sure it hit like the festival circuit okay and then, probably. Yeah. but Corey you'd mentioned that Biocop the character was probably based on the guy from Robocop who yeah near the end toxic waste. Yeah. <laughs> and after seeing the trailer I'm like yeah for sure. That's exactly where they got that inspiration. It has to Definitely. Be. Yeah. Because like, what you, else could that be making fun of? The, maybe the Toxic Avenger? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Okay. It turns into a body movie by the end of the preview. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Cop, you crazy! <laughs> Everything running all the way up through that to the last thing where that, like, just that preview running up to the last part where they're cruising Like, they're the fighting and the guy's just saying Biocop over and over. Biocop! And then they're partners. Like, Brilliant! The a buddy story yeah. to the likes of which you've never seen. I need, I need to see the Biocop movie. It and like every happen. single quote from it is hilarious. He's like, "Why am I alive? <laughs> yeah. Shut the fuck up, Biocop!" Yeah. Do you have some kind of like, death wish or something, Biocop? Yeah. He's like, "Yeah." yeah. <laughs> Remember where his eyes fall out, and the dude looks back at him. He's like, "All right, Biocop." <laughs> I mean, like, what? <laughs> like, uh, oh man. Nothing I need to hide like drugs, and then he's just holding up something that yeah, says drugs, drugs on it. <laughs> Drugs. <laughs> Amazing. You have the right to run. Like, yeah, dude. If they made that into a whole series, I'd they watch every to. single one of them. Seriously. I would watch Not 12 easily. Biocop movies. <laughs> yes. How please. I would I watch to. Biocop in space. I would watch <laughs> Biocop, Biocop in, in hell. Space. Yep. I I yep. would watch Jason versus Biocop, all of it. <laughs> yes. Bring no. Uh, Here's the mashup you need. Not Jason. You need Quilt Face. Yeah, you were talking about that earlier. Yeah. yeah. Quilt Face, what, brain damage film. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bur quilt Face versus Biocop. Give me that. Because we all know who's going to win. What about Maniac Cop versus Biocop? Just Ooh. have a cop off? Yes. Yeah, Maniac Cop. Call it cop out. <laughs> 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 And his head just randomly explodes. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, that was the worst part when he picked the guy up and he's like, bah! and it's just like yeah. that. Thing happened. It's like, oh, God. Oh, I was laughing the whole time. <laughs> it was fucking great. And I like need that, that movie. That one oh, said, Give me your badge and he threw it up on the desk. That part. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I had to actually pause it. I was laughing. I couldn't 
I was slapping so hard I couldn't finish watching the three. I don't know how many times I've watched it, but if I were to guess, it's got to be like 30. Because, yeah. like, I show people all the time. I'm like, have you oh, ever heard of Biocop? I'll be at a party and be like, you want to see something funny? <laughs> yeah. it's, an- it's another Dude Bro Party Massacre 3. <laughs> because you you do the same thing. That's how we watched it. You're like, dude, you got to watch this movie. So we did. And I thank you for that. So now you guys know my type of movie. Oh, we've Dumb, known. Over the top, just stupid. <laughs> yep. Made for a thousand dollars or less. <laughs> I want to see the movie made for twenty five dollars. Oh yeah, twenty five bucks for like borrowing somebody's camera for a day. Yeah, yeah I guarantee. Everybody you brings a slice of pizza for lunch or something. You know, everybody <laughs> pitches in. Well, legitimately, with this particular movie, if they had actually had a budget, it would have made it bad. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. There was a part where some dude puts on sunglasses and, like, the green screen just cuts them off right here. <laughs> like, even just, like, small stuff like that makes me crack up. Board's outfit, anything that reflected was missing. Yeah. I can't, there were tubes running off of him that just disappeared unless he turned a certain way, and then they're like... <laughs> Brilliant. And it's like, they don't even mean to do that. That's just bad keying. See, yeah. like, well, that's the question I found about... Did they like after? So I feel like like what's weird about the movie, right? I mean, if you sit and watch it at the beginning, you can sort of be like, oh yeah, it's low budget, like really low budget, but maybe. And then by the time he pops his way out of whatever hole he was in, that 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 what's his name, Doctor Scorpius has put it. <laughs> he, he legitimately like that whole beginning sequence when he tears the demon's face in half mm-hmm. and does all that stuff. It's like I feel like they almost were trying. Yeah, just, like struck like right after that, everything is a joke. Well, yeah, that yeah, was the cool. number one man immediately popping yeah. up. This is where we spent our budget. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Some of like uh, some of the effects were kind of cool. Like there was one part where uh, this dude had like his stomach ripped open and his intestines yeah. fall out. Like, yeah, that was pretty crazy looking, actually. Yeah, some of the effects were great, but it was just like. So oh my god. The execution of this movie. <laughs> Did you want to talk about the theater part though? E R Backwards three. Backwards three. I think I think my, my favorite part, it's like a super subtle little thing, but I noticed it today when I watched it. Uh he's like walking towards a sign that says danger. Yeah. And his buddy's okay. like, where are you going? It says danger. And he just like mm-hmm. looks at him weird and the camera pans back. It and he's elevator. like, oh, it says elevator. <laughs> like, it totally did say that. danger. And I, they just like yeah. cut it for that joke. And I don't even know why I find it so funny. Even that with the, the subtle, non-subtle, like foreshadowing, just like in a good movie, foreshadowing, it's important. It's important to later be able to say online did you catch that part because that shows you some shit in this movie he's reading a box of macaroni and cheese and clearly clearly he is illiterate that's craft yeah. dinner that's a canadian delicacy no you're supposed to wait until it boils <laughs> <laughs> oh and then it exploded when he put it in mm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I feel bad for anybody who hasn't seen this movie watching this because they're going to be like, what? This, I don't know if I'm going to like it. (laughs) If they sat through our Dude Bro Party Master 3 episode, I'm sure they'll handle it all right. (laughs) But listen, people, if you hate Manborg, you're going to love Biocop. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you like. Biocop is probably one of the greatest things that exists. It's it's the best thing I've seen in a while. The, I, it's the best thing I've seen in a while. Like I'm, it's seriously a movie I'm begging for. Yeah, mm. I need it. I need a it. series. It. Start I, off take... dropping three at once, just a trilogy yes. right now. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. I don't care what streaming service it's on. You just put it on fucking Tubi. I don't care. Tubi's <laughs> already a treasure trove. You know. Yeah. So, give us a BioCop series. Pretty much yes. anything. 
thing I want to watch is on Tubi because it's like yeah. all I want to see is the low budget, like yeah. weird yeah, exactly. hidden gems. I think I always, oh, unless I'm watching like wrestling, I always revert to Tubi, even though we have like Disney Plus mm-hmm. and everything else. Like Tubi is just shit. Yeah. <laughs> It's it funny, I, I own thousands and thousands of movies, and I'm still <laughs> just like, what's on Tubi? <laughs> yeah, same here. I really purchase them, but my, my thing is because I like to rewatch movies while I work. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I guess it's a background noise thing. I'm not sure why it has to be horrible. I'm the same way. I'm the same way. I'll, or I'll it's artistic, on. and I, I feel like, uh, like, I feel the same way about, like, if you're studying, listen to metal, listen to, like, chaotic music so like if you're working and you got a movie on in the background horror is a really like artistic hard thing to pull off so like there's just a lot of aspects a lot of layers to it especially a good one like obviously not manborg but like a good movie (laughs) (laughs) anything other than man no it it, you're right it does like music is a big influencer for me like i write all day and it depends on what playlist i'm listening to you never know what i'm going to come up with so whatever comes mm-hmm. out of my head, thank music for it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> music brought us together. Yeah, you know, so. Hell yeah. Here anyways. Yep. It just sucks that it was mine. <laughs> <laughs> Think about yours. Too bad it wasn't like a good rapper Wait, or something, you know. Let's let's take Think a break quick yours, and then we'll, I, uh, hang on, dude. Hang on, dude. Let's take a quick break and then we'll come back and talk about poltergeist. All right. Sounds good. All right. Mad balls, mad balls, mad balls, gross for one, gross for all. We play with a mad ball, they're gross, funny, yucky, sick. There's eight, so you can take your pick. We throw catch, it's uh oh fun. There's so much gross in every one. Freaky fun is what they're for. There's so much ugly, so much more. Gross for one, gross for all. We play with a mad ball. We play with a mad ball. We play with a mad ball. Mad ball. Freaky fun for everyone, sold separately from Amtoy. Mad ball. Mask vehicles each sold separately with a figure. I hate it when they get away. Wildcat, calling Goliath 1. Tracker here. Then a mansion got away. 10-4 clutch. You copy Goliath 2? Loud and clear. Position transport. I'm leaving the race. Roger, Matt. Launch Goliath. Ready missile launcher. There's Mantle. Mass. Fire. Where illusion is the ultimate weapon. All right. Let's talk about Poltergeist OD a little bit. Get back into it because you got some stuff happening here soon. Yeah, That's actually. Yeah, just today we announced uh, November 7th at Midway here in Edmonton, opening for uh, Chris Calico, Method Man, and Red Man. Oh, yeah, dude. That's oh, going to be a awesome. dope show. That's awesome. Uh, other Method than Man that, Man. hell yeah. I was a huge Wu Tang fan, like when I first got into rap for like a long time. It's like pretty yeah. much all I ever wanted to listen to. Yeah, I, have sure. I got a I got a music festival in High Prairie, Alberta, coming up in August uh, August twelfth. I think it's called Intersect Art and Music Festival. Sweet, that'll be fun. There's lots of lots of shit to do. There's like three different stages with like three different genres. So there'll be like nice. hip hop, folk music, metal, and like EDM all going at the same nice. time. And there's like awesome. there's like a campgrounds and there's food and everything. It's gonna be sick, yeah, dude. Yeah, that sounds like an awesome time. Now, Jason, you released what, quite a bit since the last time we talked to you too. Yeah, you have put out quite a few new stuff, new songs. Yeah. Uh, I think the main one was uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. even our first uh, our first episode together uh, on this show, I fucking was still talking about that song back then. Yeah. So that's yeah. how long oh, yeah. it took me to put it out. Yeah. yeah, dude. You said you were writing it and working on it. and Now we have it. And yeah, <laughs> again, really fucking good. I can't say enough about your stuff. Dude. Like, you're incredible. Like, Thanks, man. Yeah, when we get our uh, Geek Den compilation going, you can do a Terrifier rap for us. Oh, please, yeah. Do. There we go. Yeah, Terrifier. Rap. <laughs> Got the material to play with. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah uh, so this, this, this is random and has really not, I mean, it's not, I say has nothing to do, it definitely has to do with you. I've decided that Ack Ack Bitch. 
now going to be the way I tell people to just shut up and move on from posts. Okay. <laughs> like, I should get that on, on a shirt. There you, know, you go. Honestly, yeah. I, I am. I will make one. Like legit, I will. I will make one for you. I will. Nope. You <laughs> you. I'm into it. That is, that is one of the most. Well, just for no other reason than it is such a simple way to say shut. Just shut the fuck up. I honestly <laughs> never even uh, uh, thought of it that way. I was I was literally just what like being me, silly in the song. Rolling all day, and that pops up, and I'm like, yeah, 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 bitch. It works. I got good. <laughs> I totally expect to hear somebody say that in Charleston on one of my outings like, very soon. Because you hear all kinds of shit on the street here. So it's like, I can definitely imagine somebody around here saying that. And I hope I do hear it because that's funny. If brilliant. not, then you're going to have to be the one to say it. I, I'm going to have to do it. <laughs> Trend I work. I work at a pizza place now, so I can get away with it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah, that killer clown. Really, that, that, that line. Yeah. Line. That is a great line. So I'm glad you're going to use it. <laughs> yeah. I wanted, like we uh, even modding on a couple of different sites, like legitimately, anytime there's a major complaint that makes no sense, that's what they're getting. I'm not even going to explain what the problem is. I'm just going to say, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> nice. We got to come up with like a meme or a. Uh... Like a gift or something for it. <laughs> though, I'm not going to put the uh, I'm not going to put the uh, the Martians in. No, that sounds weird. I'm, I'm going to put one of the other characters in, but I'm not going to. Okay. <laughs> it's just Jack Black skeleton. Be Pierce head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, or possibly Sarah. Or, yeah, Sarah Jessica Parker as a there. dog. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Dog. Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. Oh wow! The lack of explanation would really piss somebody off too. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> so, I, the plan has come to fruition. That's it. There we are. Right, you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Merch machines over here. Seriously, we were on break talking about all these ideas for shirts that we had. Like, it's like, why are we not recording this? Because we don't want anybody stealing our ideas. That's why. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> this is where the real magic happens. <laughs> Man, yeah. Like, do you have uh, you have any other songs coming out like that you're working on now? Yeah, uh, I'm like gearing up to release a song about the Frighteners with Michael J. Fox. Oh, one of my favorite movie. '90s comedy horror movies. I love yeah. it. Yeah. The Underrated. Yeah, underrated. It was just one of those ones where, like, I think the cover on the VHS tape was like lenticular, so like. Just like those covers really stood out to me. Like that's even like the Killer Clowns one was lenticular. Yeah. Jack Frost. And like you go to the video store and you yeah. see it moving and like your eyes are just drawn to it. Yeah. So I would just like stare at that movie case forever until I just like I got enough money to rent it. <laughs> right. For sure. Like when did I I want to say the first time I saw it was on uh Probably sci-fi channel like during a Halloween horror movie marathon or something. Yeah, and I just, I just fell in love with it because I love Michael J. Fox, and like him in a horror movie just intrigued the hell out of me. Yeah, like, and a comedy it. horror at that yeah, time, right? Like, yeah. and, and a really good one. Yeah, still holds up. I think it does, it does. at least. Oh yeah, no, the Frighteners. Absolutely, yeah. every part of it. Some of the CGI is like, eh, whatever, but like, I can get over shit like that pretty easy. Yeah. I watch movies like Manborg, so like, graphics are bad to me. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do. So do we now. So, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, Story the, word. World, the world of trash movies has been widely opened up to me just from Craig. Children of the Living then, Dead. I, I sent you the link today. You got to watch it. Yes, you did. Oh, uh, I'm actually am going to watch it specifically because I've never heard. I probably of it. will too. Tom Savini's yeah, in it. Yeah, I know. Tom no, no, Savini's in it. Okay, Tom I'll Savini's it. in it. Nice. Yeah, I watch it. Like <laughs> a, as an actor. Yeah. <laughs> no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is he one of the dead? No, he's like um, well, kind of, but he's like this like renegade cop kind of guy too. Okay, different. Okay, different. Like yeah, the whole plot is like this town 
like one guy comes back from the dead and like starts infecting the whole town. Pretty good. You don't need a plot. You don't need no. a plot at all. That's all right. There was a direct no. video release for a Tom Savini movie wherein he, he directed it, he wrote it, he did the effects for it. And really, if you watch it, it's 100% about the effects. It has nothing to do with the story. There's right. nothing else going on. But he is a zombie mm-hmm. infecting other people, but he's like a master zombie. And it's, hmm. uh, it's an of the dead movie. It's not tied into the universe, but that the title is hmm. something of the dead. Yeah, yeah. You guys ever see Flight of the Living Dead? Yeah. No. Zombies on a plane? Yeah. Brilliant. Writing it down. Another masterpiece. (laughs) My God. I only watch high art. Yes, you do. (laughs) I mean, dude, bro, party mask is great. Come on. Everything has to be an ultimate cinematic experience for you. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> it's got to be either the best or the worst. Yeah. Oh, I know M- much of the time with you, Corey, it's the worst. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Basically, right? just right. like look up anything. If it's getting terrible reviews, guarantee I like it. Oh, you'd love my book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Not, oh, Greg, you know that's not true. No, it's not. Ouch. That's I true. felt that. <laughs> Fuck, man. I like so, people like People love them. Self-deprecation at its finest here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I'm always saying my rap, my rap sucks. Like, don't listen to me. I, I'm shit. Yeah. <laughs> and then you got then you got us dipshits saying, no, check him out. He's really good. <laughs> Are you dissatisfied with your purchase? I warned you. <laughs> uh, I told you. That way they can never be disappointed, really, because you told them. Yeah. So if exactly. they love it, they're, like, warning. surprised. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, I'm totally surprised. I think I've gotten, like, I've only gotten, like, two five-star reviews on the one, but, hey, I didn't see it. Anything they were talking about in those books, but just the buildup of it, it just provokes me to do more. That's, oh, yeah. That is a true statement, too. Well, that's, I mean, things thrive with encouragement. They fail yeah. otherwise. Yeah. You got to yeah. do it because you like doing it, not because other people have opinions exactly. about it. Yeah. Oh, that's very true. And if you find that the other people have a good opinion of what you're doing, then you're doing something right. If a guy co- can go from working on Pacific Rim and Silent Hill to <laughs> go into a garage with a green screen and make it a movie like Manborg... Follow you can do anything dreams bro <laughs> just the there's no way they didn't have a blast like with the interrogation scene <laughs> for every line he has basically so yeah, oh, yeah right oh no. yeah, yeah oh yeah Jesus, it's just funny that is so <laughs> funny and he's like yeah by that point i was laughing by that point in the movie i was laughing so <laughs> i guess i sort of did come around but I think I was more laughing at just the sheer audacity of how stupid this movie was. <laughs> I mean, come on, that little pistol dance he did yeah. at the end battle scene. That was hilarious. <laughs> that was fucking funny. Man, the montage when they're all like getting ready and number one man is just there. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I found that hilarious. Like <laughs> He never switched arms. <laughs> he only really nunchucked with like, one eye in. Like, There's so many moments when you can tell they're just doing it out of love. Like, you never see him put it in his other hand. He's just doing it all with the right No, he, he does it one time. He stops. He goes, oh. And that's it. That's the only oh, time. Oh, wow. <laughs> Michelangelo, he is not. <laughs> well, yeah, no, Michelangelo could probably take it. Yeah. In a non-talk battle, for sure. Yeah, no, not any yeah. other way. I mean, some of the flip kicks are pretty cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, though. Those turtles are pretty fucking good. <laughs> That's true. Plus, they have armor built on. They, I mean, they were trained by a rat. It was in a hard shell. <laughs> yes, Turtle. Sir. I was like saying that in my head, too. I'm like, don't say it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> say, it out. say it out loud. If it hadn't been finished, I would have spent the rest of the night. Yeah. Legitimately, the rest of the night. Just <laughs> in the thinking back. about it. Turtle power. Turtle power. Turtle power. Over it, getting pissed off. <laughs> he didn't finish like was- it. 
<laughs> like I was saying before we started recording, though, you could tell some of it was just pure love. Like when he's adjusting his mask, I think that was the funniest part for yeah. me. He's just like, hold on a second. No, keep filming. Okay. <laughs> Dude. I love it whenever. Uh... Shit. His name's escaping me, but he's like trying to hit on the chick, right? Baron? Yeah, the oh. Baron. That's, thank you. But uh, <laughs> he's trying to hit on Mina. And she's off fighting Draculon, and he goes to her room or whatever. And he's just like, "Well, I, that's my life." <laughs> <laughs> and then he just like sits down and lights a smoke. Uh, right. the, the part where he like brought her flowers, yeah. and then like yeah. Yeah. his yeah. boss yeah. comes up on the screen yeah, or whatever and behind him. Woo. He's like, "Those aren't for me, are they?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I gotta go man the artillery guns. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like you feel bad for him, but it's just because you were, there's a lot of us I know. Because hi, I'm James. That relate to that part, you know what I mean? Like, well, it, that's just how it is. It's I honestly kind of like <laughs> unique and refreshing for a villain to be seen that way, and not just like a brutal killing machine, you know? Yeah. Right, for sure. It's just like, but like at that, then you're just like, okay, why do I like this guy now? Yeah. <laughs> He's the bad guy, and I'm like, oh Yeah, like, the brutal come here, buddy. Part, come here, bring it in. When he's asking, <laughs> when he's acting, asking Scorpius, he's like, you can process human emotion. Tell me what I'm doing wrong, and then he starts answering. He goes, silence. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was the most absurd response, followed by oh flowers. There's one quote. There's one quote I really, really liked. It was, uh, "We called her prisoner number seven, but to me, she'll always be prisoner number one." Yeah, <laughs> that's beautiful. That's oh. beautiful. <laughs> this movie, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to rewatch it because I need. Yeah, you just gotta I need smoke to have, more weed. I need to have the same appreciation for it that you guys do. <laughs> I'm confused about one part though. I'm not even confused because let's face it, there's nothing confusing about this movie. <laughs> oh no, I've got to figure it out. It's dumb. Well, the, the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing confusing about it at all. Like, this entire thing is lighthearted and hilarious. Yeah. yeah. Provided you understand what it is you're watching. Exactly. But then they get to the end, and his force ghost brother shows up next to the force ghost doctor. The one who told oh, at the no beginning, heaven. remember? <laughs> no, like, there is no yeah. like that was a random, like just it had nothing to do with the rest of just, just the yeah, rest of I was just like yeah. what? there's what? no heaven. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was just such a confusing <laughs> moment for me because I was like, man, this whole thing was really lighthearted. That though, that guy actually delivered that with a little bit of darkness. Yeah. yeah. But like yeah. we're also assuming in this in this universe that like there's no heaven, but there's a hell. Yeah, there's definitely yeah. a hell. Before <laughs> you just die and go to hell, and that's it. Well, it's like at the beginning of the movie, you had the welcome to your new hell. Yeah. Right. right? So, like, I, I guess the, the idea being that after World War II era or whatever the hell they were fighting in, Earth, I guess, became hell in this storyline. Yeah. yeah. Or did they just like, fuck everybody in, in that? Like, what happened? There. I think even asking questions is like too much. That's the confu- That's the confusing part. Because like even the people who made it probably don't even have an answer. They'll probably be like, I don't know, man. Yeah, <laughs> dude, just watch. Probably. The movie. I thought you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but then it like, leads to the question of the heaven thing. It just, it just, it just confused. It was the, the only line delivered with any actual sincerity. Everything else was hilarious. But that one part, there is no heaven. And then he just. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a really weird thing. Unless it's like, it come on, man. Just, There's got to be more to it than that. <laughs> no, but then, then the doctor's like, and he's right. There is no heaven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then he's gone too. <laughs> yep. Actually, definitely. now that I say it out loud, it was sort of funny. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> he, 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 that Maybe that was 100% intentional. Yeah. Oh, I can almost guarantee it was. Like, or it wasn't and they kept it 
Yeah, yeah they're just like, fuck oh it. Oh my god. If it was like, like, I, I like, want to know like how quick. much of this movie was just improvised. Just like, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure the whole thing. Dom hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> As far as the improvisation question goes, it had like in the interrogation scene. Oh, for sure. Like, that yeah. Would explain the interrogation oh yeah. Scene. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then okay. This future yeah. tape. Oh, okay. Oh no, it's a future lock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that movie. It's something. I, I believe yeah. I texted you this morning and was like, "Yeah, that was something." <laughs> definitely a movie someone filmed something it was a movie somebody <laughs> made it somebody spent a thousand bucks on this <laughs> and here we are what was it 2011 it was made here yeah. we are however many years after just still watching years. it and now we're talking about it like 11 years that's beautiful. like i said yeah. though i in the end it was worth it because i need biocop yeah <laughs> very yes it's Thanks. almost just worth watching. Like, even if you hate Manborg, it's almost worth just sitting through all that so you can kind of have, oh. like, yeah, like a, a bit of a pretext of their humor to get Biocop. Yeah, Bio- That's a good point. That's a very good point because I'm on that side of the fence right now. Yeah. So <laughs> it's like Biocop made it all worth it to me. Because it's not a bad Biocop, side of the fence. As, as soon as it started, like Biocop started, I was laughing. And I was laughing the entire way through, and then the FBI warning at the end. That one's like, really fuck, that come on. Thing is this really super long, uh, <laughs> like you hear me, copy right. That means I can take <laughs> you to fucking jail. Kind <laughs> of the lead in. I'm not even sure which side of the fence I am on this. Like, <laughs> with the entire explanation coming down to a simple, don't copy my shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then they do it in French. Yep. <laughs> they are like somebody they may have only been a thousand dollars, but man, they they were hoping for distribution, right? Yeah. I mean, unless that was an afterthought. They might have just been fucking around. Yeah. Well, I mean, no, we know they were fucking around. Like well, they were definitely fucking around. When they <laughs> yeah, I think the whole movie, movie, the whole point of it is that they were fucking around. <laughs> I'm saying with like the copyright shit at the end, like they're probably just fucking around. Hey, let's put another language up there too. <laughs> How much money we got? Like 20 cents? Okay. <laughs> it would be funny if, like, they weren't planning on doing that, but that was the legal thing that they had to do. Like, right. they had to have it in another language. Yeah. <laughs> like the, kind of a bitch just going to cost another dollar. What is it? $1,000. They had $1,000 to, to do this with. They spent part of their budget outside of After Effects and blank <clears throat> studio and shit. They spent part of their budget on dubbing Number One Man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like it's a, that's not even like an dubbing voice number one man. Like that was a different guy altogether who was not in the rest of the movie. It wasn't just a different guy. Yeah. So they I love how they didn't even try <laughs> to make it look good. <laughs> <laughs> that's where the Godzilla mouth comes from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was intense. Like once again, if you have any questions as to whether or not they thought this was hilarious, that's yeah. got to be thing that tips you off right i mean like legitimately the entire thing is a wink a nod and an elbow slap as soon as number one man started talking my immediate thought was here we go (laughs) (laughs) and it's like pretty early you get to meet him too so yeah Yeah, right right after he comes out of his box yeah here's here comes number one man for like the name name alone was just like that box yeah But he's just, I am number one man. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and yeah. we're off. I am. Draculon, <laughs> I am. Draculon is where it got me. I was. <laughs> Draculon. Count, no, no, Count Draculon. I can't think of Futurama. Yeah. <laughs> Draculon sounds like, uh, like a prescription drug. It really... Did you guys ever see Phallus in Wonderland? Yep. Yes. All right. See, that movie. Made by Gore, mm-hmm. 100% better than this movie. Like, you yeah. liked all of it, and it was meant to be a joke. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just, it, it's hard to get my head around it. The only reason why, by the way, I thought about that was because Dracula's mask really looks like a bootleg odorous. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. yeah. I, I was thinking, that. like, uh, uh, kind of <clears throat> like Cenobites from um, Hellraiser or oh, Cenobites. See, I got that, I got that for uh, the Baron. Like, that, that definitely looks like mm-hmm. Chatterbox 
except for with the mouth slit open. Yeah. 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 You know, uh, added to the, like, I swear the only reason that I took out your eyes, like the only reason they did that was to make sure that it didn't look exactly like Chatterbox. Probably. <laughs> probably. I bet it was probably an inspiration. Oh, it had to have been. Yeah. I mean, obviously they loved what they were doing. Like, once again, like we were talking about in the last thing, like you don't do something like this unless you love it. Yeah, they were just having fun. Yeah. You can't really fault anybody for that. I saw in one interview, uh, the director said that like the games Castlevania, oh, I guess Castlevania I games were like yeah. a big inspiration for like a lot of the background and a lot of the characters and like a lot of the, the diversity and the monsters that they wanted to have. Right. Yeah, I can definitely see that. Oh, for sure. Definitely some Castlevania vibes. Holy shit, yeah. it puts a bunch of stuff into a different light. It really does, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay. Well, damn, there's depth to the bubble. <laughs> Honestly, if this movie was a video game, I'd play the shit out of it. Absolutely. Oh, you, it'd be yeah, no, I would too. I would absolutely, yeah, no doubt in <laughs> mind. Although, I guess you'd have to cycle through the characters you wanted to pick. You got the one chick with the long range attacks, with the exception of number one man who has a special attack that involves throwing his nunchucks like a knife. Yeah. <laughs> And then you have the ultimate character who's slow and stupid but overpowered. <laughs> With the elbow rockets. <laughs> yeah, no, that part, just that part alone. I mean, like that fizzle off into the distance thing, like that is 100% a, an Adobe After Effects Lightroom effect. It is something that comes standard with the program. Like you can press a button and make it happen. I think it would be even more hilarious if it was made on like Windows Movie Maker or something like that. <laughs> like, that would be better. It would be even better if they put it in like Final Cut. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then they'd actually have to pay for a decent program. <laughs> What's up? What did they have? We know they had a large green cloth. That's what they had going into this. And they had yeah. 80s garbage that doesn't work anymore. That's what they had. I mean, if you like, if you look at Hamburg's costume. Most of like the town and stuff were just like cardboard boxes painted. Dude, it really was. <laughs> oh, that's like I said. I like the, the part where you first meet uh, the hero, or not the hero guy, but uh, the Billy Idol ripoff guy, right? Mm -hmm. When you first meet him and he pulls his guns out when he's in the arena, I actually had to pause it, rewind it, and then slow mo it, and then do it like two more times just to make sure I was right. His guns were like Ray Harryhausen into existence. They were they were <laughs> stop motion animation. But more importantly, they were cardboard. Yeah. Like they were yeah. straight up cardboard. They were current <laughs> cardboard. <laughs> all I can think the whole time is holy shit, these dudes have massive balls. They have to. Mm -hmm. Because, well, on the one hand, I guess you got the one guy who really knew what he was doing, knew it would look, I guess, okay ish for what they were doing. And then on the other, like if anybody else would have been like, that's not good. But it's like, it's so creative. Like, when you have a super low budget like that, you're, like, forced to think harder. Yeah. yeah. You can't just be like, ah, we'll just, like, pay some nerd to do it in post. Right. <laughs> That's, okay, so what, what does scale pay for uh, an, an actor or voice actor? It's like 500 bucks, right? Something, Something like, like that. It's like, if, if they're working for a day, the Screen Actors Guild, which includes voice acting and everything else, like 500 bucks. I think. Um. I'm not a... 100% on that, you'd have to look it up. Sure. It depends. It probably depends on like their demand, too. Well, no, but see, that's like, the thing. You can negotiate if you have the ability to, but if you don't have the ability right. to, like if you're just a low level price, voice actor, and that's it. Yeah. Uh, my thoughts are that half of their budget went to dubbing number one man. <laughs> probably. Yeah. Probably. At least like a bunch of their time in the studio. Like they could have just like <laughs> had afterwards. a microphone and just like got some guy, one of their buddies to do it for a day or whatever. <laughs> there was a dude True. standing in front of a screen saying the lines with it in the cheesiest way that they could make him say it. Yeah. yeah. So it's you know, like a voice that was way, way too deep, so clearly on purpose. Like I feel like that, that was like very on purpose. Hey, Dana, what do you think of this? <laughs> uh, you're good, right? <laughs> it paid somebody to say that. <laughs> yeah. The other they $500 were spent on masks. We stayed <laughs> paid, but like. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking oh. of, like, okay, so 
bad movies. So if you're talking like a movie like this, have you seen, uh, not that we don't have to get too far on this, but this, I'm just a little curious, Kung Fury. Oh, I love Kung Fury. This movie's ah. actually like kind of similar to that one. It really is. It's a lower budget version, which is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so there you go. If you haven't seen this movie and you're watching this, if you like Kung Fury, you'll probably like this. And I, I, the second I saw Kung Fury, I literally went on Facebook and MySpace at the time, <laughs> I believe, and said, if you are bored... R.I.P. MySpace. Go watch oh, it. Man. You'll like it. So many pictures lost there. Mm. Yeah. Dude, I've got an entire 10 years of my life that don't exist anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I saved a few pictures from back in the day from MySpace. The only thing I got out of the MySpace era is like every band I listened to. Yeah, pretty oh, much. God, there is that. Man, Christ, I missed that. I found a lot yeah, of bands. Like, awesome way to discover music. It's like, yeah. I feel like once I stopped using MySpace, like my discovery of music went down by like 100%. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah very much. Now face, I only hear what people you, show me in passing, you know? Yeah, my I've Facebook found more like I get yeah like 100 yeah, percent. you and uh, you and craig uh that have tipped me off to the line, including you yeah yeah right yeah hey. we threw him the killer clown song before like what yeah. was it, yesterday? And it's a great song it's for that matter it's great it's not appreciate that man no it's the the entire thing even up to the the fact that somebody like uh, by the way who does the uh sync ups on the videos uh like just all the video editing yeah i do all that it's great. Wow. It's absolutely Thank great. You. The, okay, Thank you. So the, uh, it's painstaking, but yeah, it's no, it like totally is, worth it. Which is why I, I guess I appreciate what I'm seeing. Like, like that is, that's great. It's really good. Oh, it, Thank the, uh, the, the blood, all right. So you had the, the couple of different playlists on YouTube. One of them uh, had a bunch of stuff from Blood Sea and Elf and Lied. And, uh, and like that one, is fucking brilliant yeah it was a ton right. of different animes it was uh uh berserk or it's yeah yeah that was one uh whew. yeah blood sea was probably like my favorite one there was parasite yeah that no, was uh yeah, that was there. a cool one i basically just like went online and asked all my fans like what are the most brutal like disturbing animes out there and like they oh, just they gave delivered. me a huge list, and I watched. Never, man. I think like, I watched like thirteen top animes top in like a few weeks. Damn. It was. It's a great sync up, though. That one, like yeah. I, I had uh, the entire time earlier today, I had YouTube running through most of your stuff. That one, I had to stop and throw onto my computer. I wanted to watch. Like it was like, well, that nice. one, uh, Killer Clowns one, and very obviously, you know, hack hack bitch. <laughs> sounds like something like an old guy would say like just like, like cranky kong from Donkey kong would say that well, i mean i'm fucking 43 years old it's possible yeah. it's 100% exactly what an old dude would say yeah. <laughs> i'll be 80 years old on my doorstep just yelling it at people <laughs> They were like, ah, oh, don't worry about him. He's he's crazy. Some kids walking to school. Act, act, bitch. Yeah. He used to be a rapper. Don't mind him. He used to be a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy shit. Oh, boys. That, this has been fun. Yep. Thank you. Absolutely. Always a good time. Jason, your first show as a host. Again. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Corey, dude, we appreciate it. Anytime you come on, dude. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, man. I don't have to tell you, you guys want to have me. Yep. I was just about to say we don't need to tell you, but anytime you want to come back and you got some more trash for us, you, you know what to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> next uh next like terrible, terrible movie I watch, I'll let you know. Oh please. Hell yeah. <laughs> you know we'll be ready. You know we'll be ready. But gentlemen, it's been fun as always. Yep, yep. Definitely. And until we meet again. It's fun to care for Gizmo. Imagine he's your pet. It's fun to care for Gizmo and never get him wet. Yet the magic can make sure to keep him out of the light and never, never feed him after midnight. Yes, never. It's fun to care for Gizmo. He's a lovable pet. Oh.
I'll take care of you, Gizmo. He's a lovable. Get ready for the G.I. Joe Code. Look out, Cobra! Better clear the road, cause Joe's coming at you with an armored tow. And for more firepower, Joe hauls in the coastal defender. The sides fold down to reveal a mobile missile station. It's right down in tunnel rack. But Cobra's fighting back with the boar. It's crystal ball. Rip and roar, Cobra boar, gonna be in trouble for. G.I. Real American Hero. Live the adventure of G.I. Joe, Road Toad, Coastal Defender, Cobra Boar. Figure sold separately. Joe, Joe!